Wait, wait, this should be the last shot. Am I hamming it up? From the basement of a pretty normal office building in New York City, it's Shoot Your Shot, Thrillist Boozy Trivia Game Show, with your host, Will Fulton, and special guest, Justina Valentine. Cheers, and remember to tip your bartender. What's up, everyone? I'm Will Fulton. Nope. You almost this has been a sticking point. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Shoot Your Shot. I'm Will Fulton, and my guest today is Justina Valentine. You're damn right. You might know her best from Wild and Out. She raps, she sings. You know, she's a real personality, aren't you? Okay. I think so. I think so as well. When was the last time you took a bunch of shots? Probably the night with Webby uh, when we performed in the city. So that was maybe like a month ago. We have a custom cocktail made by Garen Ferry of Reclamation of the Triple Threat. I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions. You get the questions right, I have to take a shot. You get them wrong, you have to take a shot. It's as simple oh. as that. We're gonna have some fun though, little mini We're games. We're gonna have some fun. I'm very good at answering questions. I think questions. so. Are you Let's ready to get, get started? It. Let's get it, Will Matt. Question, Taylor Ham. Why is Taylor Ham, aka pork roll, called Taylor Ham? A, it comes exclusively from the Taylor breed of pigs. B, it was invented by John Taylor. C, it's an acronym that stands for Tied and Yarn Loose Original Rindo Swine. Or D, singer-songwriter James Taylor demanded it as part of his original recording contract. It can't be A or B or D. I'm gonna have to go with C, and that's disgusting with the tide and yarn. And after today, if, if C is correct, I'm, I'll never eat pork again. Oh, this, this, no, it's wrong. That's just something we made up. It's ridiculous. Why would you pick that one? I don't know. It couldn't have been John whatever. <laughs> it was John Taylor invented it. Wait, a singer invented the name of the sandwich? <laughs> Those are two different people. Like that? I hate to kill him. You're a true Jersey girl. I saw that. It really looks like three no, shots. I know, I know. But once you put it in your it's mouth, not. it is smaller. Objects in the window appear larger <laughs> than they, you know, when they get in your mouth. Is everything you say a double, like an innuendo? Like um, double entendre, or maybe triple in some cases. It's sometimes, yeah. I try to see how many I could get in there. It's kind of like in a rap, like a compound rhyme. Mm -hmm. When you want to rhyme, you know, compound syllables. I like sure. to see how many, you know, different meanings I can get in things I like that, that I said. I can yeah. really respect that. You can? Yeah. I knew I liked you. I right, want to talk about New Jersey really quick. Okay. Do you think growing up in New Jersey kind of shaped the person you are? Um, yeah, I think so. We're just more accepting mm -hmm. and, you know, you go to some of these places in the Midwest and you can't walk around how you want to walk around or like, let's say if you have a different sexual orientation or whatever, like things like that are frowned upon. Whereas in the tri-state, we're just like a very accepting melting pot. And, you know, I'm proud to be from that. And I think that's definitely shaped me and who I am and, and my music and what I like. You know what I'd say? People from Jersey are down. Yeah, that's, for that's sure. Yes, down. 100%. I want to talk to you about being on tour, actually. So, numero dos. Which of the following acts was a part of Vans Warped Tour 2012, which you were on? Yes, okay, good. Okay, I'm going to definitely get this right. Okay, cool. You're going down. Oh, no. Oh, wait, unless they weren't on my stage. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. A, Fall Out Boy. B, Yellow Card. Remember them? Yes. C. They were definitely part because I took a picture with the drummer. Okay, why even finish? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was it. Perfect. That was the right answer. Thank you. Kaboom. Cheers. We had the same outfit on one day. Like, he had a little American flag shorts, and yeah. I had an American flag pants on. We took a few ass pictures together. I want to ask you about the Warp Tour. How yeah. was it going on tour? Having that be like my first major tour, Ooh. and having it be a big tour. It's a Warp just, Tour. I mean, come it's on. the Warp Tour. I mean, some days we were performing, it was like 103 degrees. Yeah. Outside one one day, I actually pissed on myself. Um, on purpose? No, it was <laughs> just so hot. Like, you're in 100 three degree weather, I'm doing like a half an hour set. I just like pissed on myself a little bit by accident. So what I did was I had a water bottle there <laughs> okay. and um, I just like gave myself like one of these, like I went like this and you know what I mean? Sure that the water like went all over. So now I'm soaked. They're like, so, oh, she didn't piss herself. She's just being sexy. Yeah, so I went like this and I- <laughs> That's just, a good trick. Just, no, just write that down. Oh no, write it down. Cause if I, if I ever piss myself again on stage, I'll do the same thing or shit, whatever. Just flush that little turd right down the pant leg. Question three, we're gonna switch it up. We both took a shot, so that's we good. Did. I don't know, a little we're gonna, gonna switch it up. About to get up on this bar. We're gonna Are we gonna drink all of these? Maybe, Someone hopefully. bring the fucking stretcher. Call an ambulance. <laughs> this is called cupcake roulette. Cupcake roulette. So instead of shots, we have cupcakes, and they look like normal cupcakes, do they not? They do. These are filled with some weird stuff. Not okay. anything gross, this isn't pure factor. So it's not like roaches. Is there a in there? Who is it? If it's the Thomas right, smiling. If it's the ginger I'm okay with that. Because he's that beard, it's turning me on. Yo, he's that of the tequila, I don't know what's going on. He but gets I'm that at every it. day. I'm starting to tingle in my, in my mingle. All right. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> about our dear close personal friend at Thrillist, 
Timothy De La Ghetto. Tim OG! Yeah. I love him, that's my boy. Which of the following facts about our friend Tim is true? Okay. Okay? All right. A, he lost his virginity at the tender age of 18. B, that's old as to lose your virginity. Oh, sorry, keep going. <laughs> B, he made out with Mara Wilson, who played Matilda in the movie Matilda. C, he directed a porno. Or D, he owns a cake shop specializing in erotic cake. Ah, f give me my phone. Let me phone a friend. Okay, Dang. 18 is not. Nah, Tim had some swag. I saw him back in the day with his 5X white tees. It definitely didn't take him till 18. The thing about Tim is he's a good um, promoter, and if he had a cake shop, he would have plugged it during the mukbang. He would have plugged it at some point. So he good either. Good point. I like that. Yeah, he either diddled uh, Matilda's skittle or uh, he directed a porn. I'm gonna go with my boy. Tim directed a porn, because he was trying to make me and his wife do some weird shit on camera, and you know, it got weird. So I'm gonna go with he directed a porn. Ah, uh, no, you're wrong. You got one Matilda? <laughs> it took him until 18 to f I'm disappointed. Get Tim on the line. It took him until 18 to f That was so funny. He got one Matilda? No, yeah, it took him to 18 to f He admitted it right here. Oh. Oh, s. <laughs> well, well, whatever hey. Tim made, it is what it is. I like black men and uh, vanilla cupcakes. Same. Bro, this is like my period ball. This looks like my pad. Ew. How do you know it's that time in the month? Is it? No, it just ended. But what is this? Period blood from <laughs> Matilda? What was that? Ketchup. Oh. It oh should have been. You know what? It what? tasted fine, so you told me. Now I'm getting queasy. I had about four drinks last night. I got a shot of tequila. I mean, you got to catch up and Hold muster on. the All strength right. so you could relish in this moment because I'm hot, dog. Oh, I get it. Hey, what do you like best about Mr. Timothy Gilligato? I like yeah. his demeanor. Tim's got a really good demeanor and wiener. I just everyone it, says his dick and demeanor. Yeah. Anyway, I like Tim's demeanor because um he's always in a good mood. He will kind of find the best of the situation, and we're around each other a lot a while now, Cass. Yeah. And I've never seen Tim like get nasty or That's be so nasty good. to yeah. someone. He's just a nice, easygoing guy who's about his. Shit. He works hard. Yeah. That's a lot of compliments, Tim. It's like five rolled up in one. Like yeah, he one. owes you one. He owes me one. He owes me a couple. All right, I want to talk to you about while now, actually. Oh, I, oh, let's do it in this accent this time. Uh, no. Oh. Number four. Well, <laughs> Which of the following is not a real game on Wild and Out? Do the history. Oh, you're There have been done. so many. You're done. Oh, unless it was before I was on the show. All right, go ahead. <laughs> a, the hating game. B, that's my dog. C, twerk work. Or D, get your hands off my pickle. Ah, f you. These games are fucking old, old, because this is I before know. I was even on. Yeah. All right, well, Twerk where we still play. We don't play any of the other three games. The Hating Game probably was something, because that sounds something like a goddamn, like it sounds like a roasting game. So I'm going to say that probably was a game. Or is that too easy? Oh, get out of here, Will. Get your hands off my pickle. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a Me Too movement. It must have been a game from a while ago. And what <laughs> yeah. was the other one? B, that's my dog. I said meat battle. I'm going to go with the pickle. That's not, that <laughs> no, wasn't a game. You're right. Yes! <laughs> Throw me off. Uh, you can't funny. pull the pickle over my eyes, honey. <laughs> right. Two shots deep. Eek, eek. Put them over here. Keep, keep it neat. An intensive version to sounds, like notably and commonly the sound of people smacking their lips when they eat food, is called what? A. Frompson's syndrome. Frompson? Bring me another tequila. <laughs> B. Litozondripita. C. Misophonia, or D, it's just called being a normal person because that's really annoying. Um, well, I should know because I chew with my mouth open. So next I time know, I'm heard annoying that. with some, and next time I'm annoying someone, I'm gonna tell them you have mesothelioma. 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 <laughs> that's what I'm called. One eight hundred mesothelioma. Is that the word you said? No, it's not. Oh, I what said misophonia it? was C. That's misophonia is like when you miss a phone call. All right, I'm going to take out the drippetonia because that sounds like a word that, um. That's not even an, a, an option. That's Migos' new album, Drippetonia. <laughs> like you're in Dripsville, Drippetonia. Okay. So get rid of the drip one. What I'm going to go with C. Yeah, you're right. Ah! <laughs> Misophilioma, I knew it. I knew them commercials were um, good for something. Okay, so you notably smack your food. Notably. Chew loud. What's Is up mic on? The reason I chew with the mouth open, because yeah. when the mouth is open, the air hits the food. When the air hits the food, the food oxidizes. Is there any science to back up what you're saying? The science in my tongue, baby. <laughs> we have a little game we call Freestyling Out. Freestyling Out. Well, we're gonna. No, you don't. Do you really, or do you just do it for me? Just, just for, for you. It's for everyone else. No. 
Really just for you. Oh, just for me? That's yeah. cute. We customize these things. I like, like the drink. If right. you flub, if you mess up, which I don't think you will. If I flub it, are you f***ing dumb? Now, I believe in your freestyling skills, but the people at home might not. So we're going to get one of our people out here who's a good beatboxer. Yeah, huh? we need a beatboxer. He's going to beatbox. Who's we're going to feed you some words. Here. Got you it. You ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ooh, he's First word. Urinary tract infections. Okay, yo, look, 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 hold on, look, I'm gonna make an inspection. I think I have a urinary tract infection. Hold on, the world is turning. I went to take a piss and my shit was burning. Rhinoceros. Matter of fact, that's a dinosaur. You know me, I be rhyming more. Queen Preposterous. Elizabeth. You know me, I like a rhinoceros. Queen Elizabeth, she was that bitch. I mean, I came through. I know Tom, he not a snitch. He be keeping it real. I'm all in the field. We'll give another word, because you know that's the deal. Okay. Burger King. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to do my thing. I murder things. I be eating at Burger King. F*** McDonald's. Now I'm just playing. I was on that commercial, and you know what I'm saying. You a small fry. Matter of fact, get the ketchup. I freestyle, bitch. I never mess up. Tell me if you relish. I'm going to do my thing when I see the small. Listen, Tom, right here, because I'm hot, dog. Mesothelioma. I'm a Romager. Mesotheliomia. If you or your family is affected, then you know I'm on the next. Hit me up. He got short shorts. Tom Sawyer. He looks like he could be your lawyer. He gonna get that money in the courtroom. Matter of fact, get in my womb. I'm just playing. That's a Me Too case. I'm gonna do my thing. I freestyle in your face. Give another word so we could get it popping. Will and Tom, they is never stopping. See me when I'm shopping. His beat is getting slower. I think he about to die. Will can't breathe. I think he about to cry. I f***ed up, but I'm still the bomb, because that's Tom. I've been that bitch since a little girl. Call my mom. Where's the other word? When you get to speaking, my brain, you know it start leaking. Pork the price roll. of your head, you know that it's red, you know that I'm cold. I get a tail of hammer, get a pork roll, I'm in your local shop. Delicatessen, I know you betting. My man probably got a Smith & Wesson. He look like the type, a sharpshooter. Matter of fact, you don't know no bitches cuter. Redhead doing a thing, I'm with the freestyle. Yeah, I've been a hippie, you know that I'm a weed child. Tom really tongue-tied. I'm not kidding. Matter of fact, the cat got your tongue, I'm witting. I'm trying to get his number, trying to get his digits. I flip it, you know I do my thing, and yeah, I'm really with it. And I'm the illest. For the time, thrillist, it's your girl, Justina. F***ing Valentine. Wow. All right. Just, 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 let me tell you this. This is the first time I probably ever freestyled on a show drunk. I like it. Yeah. I want to talk about Eminem. Okay. Yeah. What surprising celebrity does Eminem credit with helping him get off drugs? I honestly think you'll know this one, so okay. I'm just going to preface it with that. Okay. A, Kid Rock. Okay, I don't think B, it was him. B, Magic Johnson. Don't think it was him. C, Elton John. Don't think it was him. D, James Taylor. That's the last option. Okay, definitely don't think it was Kid Rock. I'll get rid of him. I'll just go with Elton John, because you feel like if someone gives you a cop ring, they probably help you get off drugs. <laughs> You're right. Cheers. You don't have Cheers. to take one. Salute. Yeah. Mm. Take it, take it. Question numero seven. What's the overall noodle length? Haha, uh -huh. inside a pack of instant ramen. Oh man, like when you pull it out? If you can pull it all out. Wait, A, 53 next... feet, B, 17 feet, C, 55 yards, or D, no one knows the ramen always breaks when anyone tries to measure. Classic excuse. Are you talking about like one noodle or like the, the what's in there as a whole? What's in there as a whole. We're talking about one noodle? Sometimes a noodle gets separated. It's usually one big noodle. It's either A or B. I'll go with 17 feet. B, final answer. You know what? You're sick! It's C, 55 yards. You're an asshole, Two basketball Tom. cards. I mean, Will. Stop. I meant Matt. <laughs> this ain't Cheers, not everybody knows your name, baby. Um, do you know what? Do you know why I brought up uh, ramen? Woo! I thought I cracked the cup with my teeth. Uh, I heard I that you like to put barbecue sauce in your ramen I instead do. of water. What's up yeah. with that? My boy, uh, Mayday, put me onto it. He was like, Daddy's home. And he will come, and he will cook the... Hey, you got probably have some friends who walk in your house and say, Daddy's at home now? Well, my father has done that. For okay. Not friends. Yeah. So maybe he'll come and be like, Daddy's home. And he will go in the kitchen, and he will chef up the ramen, <laughs> drain the water, and put the barbecue sauce with it. You can do barbecue uh, sauce or hot sauce. Uh, either or. You don't use barbecue Watch sauce this. instead of water. You just put yes. it on there. Well, yeah. I mean, you got to cook in the water. What, are you an animal? <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. We call this segment Hot Takes or Shot Takes. Hot Takes or Shot Takes. Has anyone notable ever slid into your DMs? And if yes, what did they say? 
Well, I'll just give you the same name I gave on MTV, so that way I don't take a shot. Um, Cause there's been a few people, I, you know, give me a shot. <laughs> I don't DM and tell. We have one question left. It's about poop. Oh, that's, I love talking about I know, that's People fine. hate to talk about and poop and fart as if we don't know. Like a, sh a good fart joke never gets old. Which of these amazing facts about poop is sadly untrue? Uh -huh. A. Neil Armstrong left four bags of poop on the moon. I would do that. I would mark, totally mark my Totally territory. badass, yeah. B. Ancient Egyptian used to use poop, alligator poop specifically, crocodile actually, as contraceptive. I could, I could get with that. I can see people rubbing alligator on themselves. Crocodile. Yeah. Yeah, if that okay. makes a difference. Yeah, we were rubbing geese poop on ourselves last night to move through the crowd as a camouflage. Who are you I'm looking at right now? Uh, <laughs> C, poop is 75% water. Or D, in Nejo tequila, what we've been drinking is made from guano, which is bat poop. I don't think Neil took four bags of out of the spaceship and yeah. you know, put his little flag. With a name like Neil, you are responsible. You're not sitting in a bag and leaving it on the moon. <laughs> Final answer A. Wrong. All right, fine. What was the right answer? It's that this drink does not contain poop. It doesn't? No. Ah, f You're good. I'm You're disappointed. Safe. Together. Fine. I want to do it in my special way. One of these. All right, you gotta look each other in the eyes. I'm trying to. This Are you trying to kiss me? No. I'm trying to. <laughs> You're sick. We did it. We're done. Woo! Woo! And now, buzzed bartending with Will Fulton. And for everyone who wants to booze along at home, here's how to make today's drink the triple threat. 0.25 ounces of Alanco tequila. 0.25 ounces of Anejo tequila. Lots of tequila in this drink, huh? 0.5 ounces of Reposado. 0.25 ounces of Rapa Giovanni black cherry liqueur. 0.5 ounces of honey syrup. Goopy. And 0.5 ounces of lemon juice. Okay. There you have the triple threat. Mmm, that's so good. We sign our bar. Uh, clearly. And I'm gonna take a picture of you. Take a few, because a bitch like me likes choices, options. Boom, sign the bar. Boom. I'm not gonna lie, this marker, it's seen better days. Thank you for watching Shoot Your Shots. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Thrillist, Theta Illis.